This will be a brief walkthrough of an RC conversion of a 169th scale Nautilus model. This model was uh, begun from a, a rather badly created static buildup. Uh, it was modified for RC use. It contains a two inch subdriver watertight cylinder which houses all of the electronics that drive the model. Forward section contains a nickel metal hydride battery pack. Center section controls or houses the ballast section uh, with the propel gas ballast. Rear electronic section houses the receiver, the on off switch, ballast servo, speed controller, main drive motor, uh, as well as the servos uh, underneath for the control of the rudder and uh, pitch control. The removal of this watertight cylinder is a very simple affair. It's a simply one screw comes out, watertight cylinder tilts up, pulls out. The linkages are all connected magnetically, so there's no fittings or anything like that to uh, mess around with. Uh, the dog bone simply fits in place in between. What I'll show you uh, briefly here now is the gimbaled propeller setup, which I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with. Turn the radio system on, turn the model on. Now what you can see in the back here, as I move the pitch control up and down, you can see the actual shaft moving up and down. And what this is doing is actually tilting the propeller up and down through that three degree. All right, I'm going to show the installation of the upper hull. Uh, it's a single piece. It was designed in such a manner that no tools were required to open the hull. I'm going to fold the power cable for the lighting system in so that it's not pinched. Set the hull down in place. Simply grab the rear of the rakers, spread them apart ever so slightly so that it slips down over the hull orienting pin slips in place fits tightly together and now simply what you do is uh, press the hull together push the ram of the model in and uh, twist it into place and uh, what this is is of course securing the upper hull to the lower uh, with an existing. This is the completed model, buttoned up and ready for the water. You can see a lot of amazing hull detail in here. Uh, I also detailed the skiff of this model with some operational oars. There's uh, the open breather flap assembly. There's a descending staircase that goes into the depth of the model. And there you have a uh, very quick buildup of uh, an RC Nautilus in 169th scale, 31 inches overall length. Uh, for people with less mechanical inclination, uh, a set of conventional dive planes can easily be added either behind the propeller uh, in the lower section of the hull or even as an offshoot of the existing dive planes which are non-functional. It's a very good performer, it's uh, smooth in the water does not have a lot of freeboard as this is actually a fairly heavy resin model, uh, but it does, is capable of full static diving.